Now the 07 are going to get shuffled in the middle. Four car is the leader. On lap number 17. Here comes the 99 of Robert Ionescu. I apologize for mispronouncing that in race one. It is Ionescu. And now we're going three wide. Now the 99 looking low. We've been green throughout this race. But we're going three wide. Looks like drivers are getting a bit more frisky to try and get up to the front and get to the low lane. Which is definitely preferred. Robert Ionescu is the leader. Jonathan Hoff in the 16. Coming up quick. Here comes the 40 of Tim Jonas. Not quite able to get under the 16 there. Three wide again. 40 car moves up our line there. We are coming now to lap 19. It's been a really quick race. We are already only 12 laps to go. Robert Yurnescu. Leading, but here comes the 33. Tyson Aquino pushed by TJ Hanley in the 44. Settling down a bit more toward the front here, but still a lot of shuffling going on further back. Yonescu holds the lead. 11 to go. Tyson Aquino right behind. Here comes the 52. Griffin Lynn led a lot of laps earlier. See if he can mount a charge here. The 20 of Max Anderson. Back into the picture. Nathan Stapleton and the 18 back into the picture. 52 is going to be able to get below the 33 here. And right behind the 99. Coming to 10 laps to go at the strike. 52 is looking. The 18 also on the low side could get a run here. But the 52 is going to inch ahead. Fifty-two has now cleared the ninety-nine. Here comes the eighteen, or is he going to get shoveled in the middle? Courtesy of the two of Alger Baranowskis. Eighteen is shoveled in the middle. Ninety-nine staying tucked in right behind the fifty-two. Meanwhile, Max Anderson shuffled out of line there. Here comes Ionescu. Nine laps to go. Help from the two of Baranowskis. Fifty one Alexander Rowe and the pole sitter Regan Whitlock in the sixty two coming back here. Eight to go when we cross the stripe this time. Two car forced to the outside. Here comes Alexander Rowe. Now Regan Whitlock looking low. Eight to go. The 17 of Luke Ryan is in the picture as well. The field remains in a 2x2 two two formation. If we get a caution now, that could mean a green right checkered, if not a one lap dash. Ionescu back to the lead. Regan Whitlock right behind. Seven to go. Now the 39. Rebecca Tyler back into the picture. 62 is forced high. This will open the door for the 17. Luke Ryan can he mount a charge here. Here comes the 39 on the low side. The 13 of Ethan Timms is right behind. It's going to be six to go at the stripe. Cars desperately trying to get to the inside further back. 
39 looking. Here comes Tristan Allen's 22. But the 99 still holds on. Thirty-nine gonna get in behind the ninety-nine. This could open the door for the twenty-two and the fifteen of Alex Walken. Come into five laps to go. A caution now could end the race. Five to go, the twenty-two is forced high. This will open the door for the fifteen and the three. Jeff right back in this. And now three wide. Jeff Wright going to get the preferred lane. Here comes the 14, Josh Stenger, and top dragster in the 07. Back into the picture. Jeff Wright looking. Not able to make the move. Coming to four laps remaining. A lot of jockey on further back. Now the three's gonna look. Help from the 07. And Josh Erpacito right back in this again. Right behind the 07. Eli Stapleton also. In the preferred lane in the 28. Looks like he might look below the 74. Unable to clear him. Three laps to go at the stripe. The zero, Bruno de Barros. Right back in this, right be right behind the 28. The three is not able to get in front of the 28. 28 with the advantage, pushed by the zero of Bruno de Barros. And Justin rode back in the five. Also in the preferred lane. Going to go three wide for the lead here. Knocking on it. Three wide. Coming to three to go. Bruno de Barros in the zero with the preferred lane. And here comes the five. Pushed by the 93 of Dragon Critic. Field getting very bunched up. Two laps remaining. The leader right now is Justin Roback. But with the advantage, this is the 93 of Dragon Critic. Nick Kennedy in the 0-1 right behind. Three wides for out the field with a lap and a half to go. Eric Powers behind the 0-1. With the preferred lane as well. Samet Oskin back in at Max Anderson. Don't count out Joshua Mayfield in the 43. White flag is out. Final lap here at Ricky Speedway. Eric Powers to the lead. Cement Oskin right behind. With half a lap to go, who's going to make the move? 43 gets in behind. This could open the door for the 20 and the 43. 87, Eric Powers. With the lead, coming to the checkered flag. Can the 20 mount a charge? 43 looks low. This will give it to the 87 who will win this race at Ricky Speedway. Eric Powers. With that, let's take a look at the results here. So the 1, or excuse me, the 87. I saw the 1 here that threw me off. The 87 at Eric Powers gets the win. 20, Max Anderson. And then Joshua Mayfield in the 43. We'll get third place. Roger Ray in the 05. Cement Oskin, the 98, rounds out the top five. And then it is Justin Carter in the 6. Nick Kennedy in the 01. Tom, or t <clears throat> Tim Jonas. Julius Anderson, Josh Irpacito. Rounds out the top 10. And then looking on through results here. On back from Griffin Lind, Robert Ionescu, and Top Dragster.
Jeff Bright in the three who won at Atlanta will finish 28th. And your Presido, who won at Daytona, finishes 10th. On back here. A caution free race, amazingly. But a great one at that. So, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the M&M's Truck Series race. And then the upcoming Krispy Kreme races. So, keep an eye out for those. I am Top Dragster from this for Nathan Stapleton. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. And bye for now.